and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Chantel. I'm so excited to show you how I vision board in Freeform. I've been using Freeform to make my annual vision board for the last couple of years. And this year I got a really, really cool experience to lead a workshop on vision boarding in Freeform in New York with the Apple team. It was really, really exciting, very cool experience. I vlogged a little bit of it, so I will put that in here. <laughs> I just finished my rehearsal with Today at Apple. I'm pretty much free until tomorrow. I'm so excited for the session. I am doing a Today at Apple vision boarding session, which is the most meta. Did I vision board myself into doing a vision boarding <laughs> session with my favorite brand of all time? Maybe, potentially, that's what happened. So anyways, that's what I'm doing tomorrow and I'm really excited about it. But today, in the meantime, Chinatown food crawl. <laughs> we're gonna do a Chinatown food crawl because if you don't know about me and my husband, our other big passion is eating. <laughs> <laughs> my today at apple session and hopefully everybody who came thank you so much for coming and i hope that everything on your vision board comes true hey guys so i just got back from my today at apple session we just did the today at apple session and then my husband and i went out to dinner and i thought i was gonna want to stay out later but i am exhausted and i am ready for bed so that's what i'm gonna do but before i went to bed i wanted to get on here and recap my experience at the today at apple session and it was really 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 so cool like i could not imagine a better session to work with them on. Vision boards are something I really, really believe in. And I think it's like a really fun and approachable way to goal set. And it's very not a toxic way to be productive and not a toxic way to goal set. So I think it's really, really fun. It's very accessible for a lot of people, especially if you use something like Freeform, because to be honest with you, I don't really think magazines are super feasible anymore. I think they're like $10 a pop. You're gonna have like a $100 vision board at that point. And you can, you know, use anything on the internet to make your vision board if you use a digital format. So I really believe in that. I make them all the time. You guys see that. And I think that a lot of that is what got me to this place in the first place. And I would tell anybody that if you have like a silly little hobby, a little thing that you really like to do, not to quit that thing because you never know where it's gonna happen and I want to also say thank you so much for coming if you were there and if you weren't able to make it thank you so much for watching my videos you're the reason I get to do these things at all in the first place and it is never lost on me and I'm super 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 so beyond grateful to get to be in a position to do that hopefully there will be more chances in the future where we can do things in person because it was so nice to meet people in person and I would love 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 to do it again um so so yeah, really, really cool experience. Really like beyond what I could have ever imagined myself doing in my wildest dreams. And I am not even usually a big public speaker, but I will say something that you guys don't know about me is before I did this, I used to be a domestic violence, sexual assault victims advocate at a women's shelter. And I'd done that for so many years. And a lot of my job, my favorite part of the job there was working with teens and I would go into high schools and do presentations on healthy relationships and stuff. And I swear all of that is what helped me do this now in my current career. So all of those little things that you're doing right now, you never know what those skills are gonna contribute in your future. So just a couple of things that I've been thinking about and really grateful for while I'm here. And yeah, like persevere with all of your little interest 
all of your interests are there for a reason and yeah i'm really excited to see everybody's vision boards come true i have high hopes for this year so really 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 exciting night and i'm about to hit the hay because i'm absolutely exhausted it's the day after my today at apple session and we have our last day in new york today and before alex gets thrown out of the I go to the book club bar to read. We're gonna go grab Tompkins bagels. <laughs> so jealous that you get to go to the book club bar all the time. I figured that for anybody who couldn't make it to the event that I would show you how I do it on my iPad in a video and this can live here on my channel forever. I really, really like to use Freeform because it is more than just putting in photos, although photos are a big part of it. You're able to add any kind of document or file type that you're looking for and you were also able to add links in a really cool way. So I feel like as far as vision boards go, it's a little bit extra in depth. So you're able to actually use it as an organizational tool as well. I sometimes expand on my vision board throughout the year, have my vision board, and then like I'll, brand, I'll make that vision board smaller and branch off into other areas throughout the year to make lists and things. I think Freeform is a super cool app and it is free. So if you have an iPad, you can go ahead and download Freeform right now if it's not on there already. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is open up Freeform. This is what it looks like. Your home screen might look a little bit different. I have a ton of boards in here because I've been using Freeform for a while, but up here you've got a little bit of a square with a pen in it and that's how you're gonna open up a new board. You can change the title here. So I'm gonna go ahead and rename this Vision 2024 and I'm gonna put in a little star. Okay, so you have a few tools up at the top here. This is your photo tool. You've got a text tool, you've got your shapes tool, you've got your sticky notes, and then you've got your pen tool. So if you tap on your photo tool, you can go ahead and add photos, you can take a picture with your camera, you can add stickers, you can scan in a document, you can link in links, or you can insert from your files. We're gonna stick with a bunch of photos today. I'm gonna throw in a couple here. I definitely want to read more books this year. I want to do some more creative things, maybe expand out my business a bit, and I'll add in those photos to start. If you add in your photos, they will come in grouped like this, and you can change the size of everything at once using this little anchor in the corner, or you can tap out and grab them individually, which is what I'm going to do and move these around this way. There's absolutely no rules to how you put things on your board, but if you're looking to move them front and back, you can do that as well. So if you tap on this, you'll have a little menu bar show up here at the bottom. Tap on the three dots and you can move to the front or you can move to the back. You can also crop by tapping on this little crop icon and you can move your little bits here, you can move your little anchor points and select done, and then you can resize it at its new shape. So I'm just going to move these guys around. The other thing that you can do is bring in pictures from the internet. So I'm gonna just split screen here with Safari. I have Pinterest open here. I can drag and drop in images this way and use that just like everything else. The other thing that you can do that's super, super cool is you can, let's find another photo. You can tap on the three dots in Pinterest, share, 
and then you can select on free form, choose the board that you're adding it to, and then go ahead and save it. And now anything that you save from Pinterest is going to automatically move to that board. And there are so many uses for this. I use, I'm gonna be using this a ton for work as well. And then the cool thing about doing it this way is that you can use that link and it will open up that pin. So now that we have some photos in here, I'm gonna go ahead and use the text tool. And this will just come up as this little, oh, we'll zoom in so you can see. It looks like this, you just double tap to enter your text. I'm gonna put in 2024 here. And then you can tap on it again, it'll open up this little bar and you can use this to change out the font into something that you like. I'm gonna use this for now. You can also tap on it again, click on this little button in the corner and you can select any color that you want. I'm gonna use pink as duh for your vision board. And another little trick that I like to do is tap on that you have this little plus button here. If you tap on that, you'll get a second layer of the same thing. I'm gonna click on that again, and now I'm gonna change the color of this to white and put that on top a little bit, and now it kind of looks like it's popping a little bit off the page. So you can do that with any word that you want to with the text tool, I think it's super fun. The next thing you have on here are shapes. So you've got any amount of shapes to choose from here but I like to use the search function. I'm gonna look for a heart, here's a heart. And then you can move this around just like you would any of the photos, but you've got some options to edit here. So if you tap on that, you can change the color in the exact same way that we did before. But what I really like to do, I'm gonna open up my images here. grab this little picture of these disco balls. If I drag and drop that into the shape, I can go ahead and adjust it so it fits inside. Go ahead and click on done. And now my little shape is full of that texture. So it's a really fun way to just add a little bit of personality to your vision board. And you can group these things together so that you can move them as one as well. The next thing you have on here is a sticky note. Sounds exactly like what it is. So you can tap on that to write in here as well. I'm gonna put in balance. And if you tap on it again, you can click on this little, same little colored dot and you can change the color of your sticky note as well. You can also use this little A icon and then tweak your text as well. Just 
just like so. Another thing that I went ahead and made for the workshop was a little set of vision board doodles. In case you're not really sure what to add, these are just a bunch of words and icons. This one says, read more books, which is absolutely a goal of mine. Another one I have on here is create. I'm gonna move that in here as well. And there are tons of little words. And I did it all in colors and in black and white as well. So I'll have these up on the freebie section if you want to download them as well. And then the last tool here is your pen tool and you're probably pretty familiar with this but you have a ton of pens to choose from i really like this little felt tip i feel like it's the easiest to control if you tap on it you can select the thickness of your pen i like the middle one and you can also change the opacity here and then in the corner you can change the color so if you click on the little multicolored one you can use the sliders or the spectrum or the grid to pick a color i'm going to pick white and then I'm gonna just go through and write things in. Another cool thing that you can do with Freeform and why I like it so much, especially for brainstorming, and I feel like vision boarding is the ultimate brainstorming for your life, you can add in links to things. So maybe you wanna get better grades this year. You wanna add a study playlist. Maybe you want to be a creator this year. You add a link to a camera that you might wanna buy um, or an editing software you might wanna buy. Maybe you wanna travel this year um, and you add a link to a place that you wanna stay at. The sky is really the limit with the links. So what I'm gonna add is a link to a Focus Lo-Fi playlist on YouTube. So I'm just gonna go ahead, share, copy this link, and then I can come back over to my board here and paste that in, and it'll come up with a little preview image from the YouTube. So it'll fit right into my board. Anyways, that is my vision board, but I hope that you make one and I hope everything on your vision board comes true. I made a vision board three years ago that came true so radically within like approximately a year. I had completely changed my life. Nothing on this particular board was even a remote possibility at the time. I was living in a small town, working a job that I loved, but it barely paid the bills and it certainly wasn't enough for me to save to do anything with my life. I had just started Paper and Roses as a digital shop, but really like I had barely a couple of my friends following it. It wasn't a reliable business at all. And within that year, I was able to grow my business, quit my job, buy a house, pay off my debt. And it was the most radical shift in my life. And I attribute a lot of that to vision boarding and to planning in general. But I think that all of these kinds of things are just tools to allow yourself to dream a little bit bigger and work towards those goals. None of these things are even possibilities if you don't start to try. You know, I've always wanted to be a creator my whole life, but I was so scared to start. And one day I had to deal with the idea that I'm never going to get the opportunity for things that I don't put myself out there 
before. So I would never have got this opportunity to work with Apple if I didn't start making these videos and I didn't start making them and no one was watching them. So I hope that if I inspire you to do anything, it is just to believe in yourself and to put your goals down and make them happen because you totally can do it. You just have to open up your mind a little bit. So anyways, I hope you have the best year yet and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.